What's up guys, Eric Prey, Focus Fishing Guide Service, Table Rock Fishing Intel. Got another video fishing report for you table, for Table Rock. It is Wednesday, February 22nd. I guess I've been on the water five or six days since the last uh, last report. And it's been, meh, some days have been okay. Some days have been pretty dang tough, to be honest with you. Typical February stuff going on. Lake level, we are at 915.83, so... Yeah, a little bit more, a little bit less than a foot above normal pool. Core has been running water constantly, minimum of two units 24 7. Occasionally pumping that up a little bit, um, just in the afternoons and evenings, trying to get all the lakes back to normal pool. I'm in the office today because we have got uh, some storms rolling in. Uh, was supposed to go out today, went out yesterday instead. Um, but uh, we got these storms rolling in, so we're not doing that. Uh, water temperature, on average, we're right around 48 degrees. I've seen some 46s and 47s over the weekend. Yesterday up the James, we saw as high as 51 and a half. So you've got a pretty good range of water temperature depending on clarity and sunshine and so on and so forth. But on average, we're right around 48, 49 degrees. Bite has been... It's been pretty typical February bite. You know, you go out one day, you'll catch them pretty good. You go out the next day and you struggle. So it's kind of hit and miss here and there. I've got some things that have been working decent. Um, and a lot of it is dependent on the weather and how much current and so on and so forth. Best way to know what's going on, join Table Rock Fishing Intel and get those reports. We have had a ton of, we had a ton of reports over the weekend. I think uh, between last Friday and Monday, I think we had seven or eight reports so quite a few reports coming in a lot of information especially if you're fishing like a bfl this weekend a lot of fresh information to help you find and catch more fish on table rock lake if you're coming down i'm gonna fish the lower end uh, i was on the lower end one day last week uh, i gotta be honest it was pretty darn tough part of the reason it's so tough is that our deep bite is really going away from us uh, i'm not saying you can't catch some deep but you've got to be very specific where you're looking. Most of the deep fish are coming from trees. Um, we're not finding the big schools of shad out on the flats. Most of the shad have been drawn into the guts of the creeks or into the main river channel by all this current. So you're not finding the flats covered up with shad where you can just kind of go around hunt and peck and find those fish close to the bottom. Most of the deep fish are coming out of trees, um, individual trees, either in creek channels, on bluff ends, um, on drops, that sort of thing. Catching them on a Damiki rig has probably been the best bait. Uh, next best bait is going to be the jigging wrap. Uh, have caught a few on a scuba spoon. But really, guys, if you can find a tree that's got some fish in it, especially some active fish, you can certainly catch some fish deep doing that. Other than that, with this wind we've had, have been catching them on a Kitek um, 2.8 on a Jewel Gem Shad head. Most of those fish are on those transition areas, um, main lake and back in the bigger creeks where you go from a some bigger rock to smaller rock kind of channel swing type stuff. Uh, usually, if I can find one or two fish on a swing, there's usually a pretty decent sized group there. Problem with that bite has been weeding through the small fish and catching a lot of shorts doing that, but we are catching some keepers doing that. If you don't have a wind, those same locations with Jewel Pro Spider Jig will work as well. Working along the bottom, keep your boat, regardless of what you're throwing there, keep your boat around 25 foot deep, throw to the bank, work it slow on the bottom. Whether you're swimming that swim bait or fishing the jig, these fish have been very tight to the bottom. They're not willing to move a whole lot have been catching a handful on an a-rig as well but uh, most of those fish are coming out of brush piles and i'm getting a heck of a lot more followers than i am bites doing that but you can catch some on an a-rig as well go to the mid lake and it's kind of the same deal on the mid lake the the deep bite is there in very specific locations again the shad are it's hard to even find shad in the mid lake i did find one big group of shad uh, over the weekend, but we struggled to get any bites out of them because there just weren't that many fish around them because they weren't where we they were deeper than we would normally see them. But isolated trees, uh, bluff ends, drops, channels, that sort of thing is where we're finding the the few fish we're finding. And again, if you find some fish on some trees, dry, and you can get them to go, stay on them because there's not going to be a lot of groups of fish on top of these trees that are active. Again, jigging wrap. Damiki rig have been the two best baits. Catch a few on a scuba spoon. 
been able to catch a few on the scope spin around the trees, working it over top of them using uh, targeting sonar to find them and fish for them that way. But really the vertical bite, you've got to work these fish to get them to go. Shallow bites, have been catching them on a Kitex swim bait on a gem shad as well. Uh, I'm most, again, these fish are on the ends of channel swings in the creeks on the main lake where it starts to flatten out, starting to catch them there. And with a uh, Jewel Pro Spider Jig as well, a crankbait bite in the mid lake has been incredibly hit and miss. Have caught a few on a crankbait, um, on a rock crawler, really not so many on a wiggle wart, but it's really wind dependent and you've got to have the right wind to get them to bite, but you can catch them on a crankbait as well. And go up the James. Um, I had a very long day of the James yesterday. It was really long and very frustrating. Uh, threw an A-rig quite a bit up the James, basically targeting brush piles, uh, trees, that sort of thing. Had a ton of followers without very many bites. I don't know if it was the day. I mean, it was cloudy. We had an east wind all day, and I could draw four or five fish out of a brush pile, get them to follow that A-rig all the way to the boat. Just could not get them to eat it. Uh, tried different colors, different things. Didn't seem to work, but I'm pretty confident, you know, a different day. Probably could have caught them on a A-rig up there. We did catch a few on a sw single swim bait, again, on the ends of channel swings and on some secondary points, but nothing to get too excited about. And we threw a crankbait quite a bit, and I think we had one or two bites on a crankbait. Actually, even downsized to a shad wrap, a number five shad wrap on a spinning rod on the ends of channel swings. And that was the only crankbait bite I got all day and had them on for about two cranks and came off. So they really weren't eating a crankbait, but they have been eating a crankbait up there. If you get a west wind or a south wind on the ends of the channel swings, um, basically rock crawler, um, wiggle wart, or even the shad wrap have been working up there. Go up in the White River, uh, fish the White River, I guess it was last Friday. Um, White River was pretty good. Again, the deep bite is so specific. And if you find some deep fish and you want to fish deep, you need to stay on top of them. It's very difficult to find shad. And it's very difficult to find these fish out on flats where we like to see them. Most of them are in trees, in channels, whether it be a creek channel, main lake channel. Isolated trees seem to be holding more fish. And again, a jigging wrap or Demiki rig has been best, catching a few on a scuba spoon. Really haven't dropped a drop shot down there, so I don't know if that works but there is a little bit of a deep bite there. Uh, the crankbait bite, if you get further up the white and into the kings, they, they have been eating a crankbait a little bit, um, but it seems like the smaller flat-sided crankbaits, like a shad wrap have been working, or like the frit side, the smaller frit side crankbait, those have been working, again, on the ends of those channel swings where it starts to flatten out. You gotta have wind though, and it's gotta be the right wind to push those fish and the shad up there, warm that water up. And those fish will move up. Most consistent bite I've had up there has been on a Kytec 2.8 on a, a Gem Shad head um, or on a Jewel Pro Spider Jig, uh, fishing it on the ends of channel swings. And really it, up there, it seems like, especially once you get above Shell Knob, the bite has been better on the main lake than back in the creeks and fishing those ends of the channel swings keeping the boat 25 foot deep and working it slow across the bottom has been the most consistent bite. You are gonna weed through some small fish, but we're catching a lot more fish doing that than anything else up the white right now. Guys, we're almost to the end of February and it can't come soon enough for me. I really wanna see these fish move shallow and get this shallow bite kicked off. I think we're gonna have a really strong crankbait bite this year unless the water comes up a bunch. Doesn't look like we're gonna get enough rain to make a big difference in it right now. But I um, really can't wait for this, this spring bite to really take off and us to start catching these fish up shallow on crankbait, jigs, spinnerbait, chatterbait, that sort of thing. And I think that's right around the corner. Best way to know when that's going to happen, when guys start catching them doing that, join Table Rock Fishing in town, become a pro member, and get those daily reports, weekly reports, all that information that we put out there for you on a daily basis. But if you're coming down and want to hire a guide, give me a call. It's Focus Fishing Guide Service. You can reach me at 417-860-4743 or hit my website, focusfishing.com. Either book online or shoot me an email. Either way, I get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching the videos, guys. Again, check out Table Rock Fishing Intel if you haven't done so, but thanks for watching. Can't wait to hear from you. We'll see you on the water.